Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add an extension in Adobe InDesign and other Creative Cloud applications that will allow you to download images directly in the Adobe software right from Unsplash, Pexels, and Pixabay. This is going to help you work more efficiently and help you save time. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a magazine layout here that I want to add three images to. But first, I want to show you how to add this extension called Stock Solo. To do that, I want to go up to Window and make my way down to Find Extensions on Exchange. That's going to open up a web browser. It's going to take you to Adobe's Exchange uh, extensions website where you can search for specific extensions and in this case I want the extension called stock solo which it's already on the main page here but for whatever reason if it's not you can just search in the marketplace stock solo one word and it will appear I'm going to click on it now I've already installed this extension if you haven't, it'll say install. Once you've installed it, you're gonna get this check mark that says acquired. Then you, you can click this link here, view my exchange. It's gonna take you to this website where it will show you when you acquired it and where to find it. And I'm gonna show you where to find it. So I'm done with this web browser. So I'm gonna add three images to this layout. I want to open the stock solo library panel that can be accessed by going to window extensions stock solo. I'm going to tuck it into my uh, one of these bars here, which is fine. And there is the icon for it. And so it's good to have it in the side panel whenever you need it. I'm just going to click it open. And what I'm going to do is because this layout that I have here is interior design, um, it's an interior design magazine. So I'm just going to type that in interior design and just hit search or hit return. It's going to show you all the images that are available. And if you just hover over them, it's going to show you who took the photo and what specific site this is from. So obviously you're saving time right off the get go from not having to go to the website Unsplash or Pexels or Pixabay and downloading those individually. You can go through this library. So I'm gonna, this one I want here, so I'm gonna hit place. Now when you hit place, it's not gonna place it right on the page. You have to save the link, the photo to your local drive. So InDesign in specific will know where to, where to get this image from. So I'm just gonna save it to, um, let's see here, just my desktop is fine and hit save. It's gonna give you a loaded cursor and I want this image here, right down below here, which is good. So I got one image in, let's go get another one. I'm going to save this one here. By the way, I always encourage if, if you're actually publishing this or if it's for a client or real work, um, try the best you can to credit the photographer uh, where, where, this, where this image is from. So I'm just going to hit place on this version here. Again, it's going to say save. You can rename these. I encourage you to rename them if, if you're doing an actual layout, but in this case, I don't I don't really have to. So I'm just gonna hit save again, loaded cursor. And I'm just holding shift when I'm dragging it out just to kind of constrain the proportions a bit. It's gonna drop it in. And then obviously you can click your content grabber and then just kind of maneuver how you want this to be. And then the last one, I'm just gonna look up living room. And this is the one I want, so I'm gonna hit place. Save. Loaded cursor, 
By the way, I always suggest dragging them out on a layout. If you click it, it's just going to plop it in at a very large scale, and then you're going to have to you're going to have to maneuver it and adjust it that way. So I'm just going to hit Command Z, and again, I'm just going to hold Shift and drag it out. I've already made guides there, so that's good. Oh, that one didn't work. So I'm just going to drag that frame over. Shift Option Command C, and that will fit the frame. So this is how you add the stock solo extension for InDesign. And the process is the same if you're using Photoshop and Illustrator. It can be found by going to Windows, Extensions, and then you can pull the images from the specific library. But this is great and it saves you time and you can work more efficiently by using the Unsplash, Pexels, and Pixabay libraries built right into the Adobe software. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.